Welcome back to my channel. This is Delithius, and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, go through the ma masteries. Uh, this is requested on one of my comments, and um, I'm just going to get my thoughts on them. So I start here with the uh, proficiencies that used to be called utilities. Um, this is the most important tree whenever you're first starting out. You want to unlock parry and dexterity. And as for a uh, whenever you first start out, uh, getting three in parry, uh, one in dexterity, one in limber, and three in stupefy is um, basically a base kit that goes into every one of my builds. And I would say everyone should get that pretty much uh, first before they do anything else. The five out of five limber is just how I set this one up as kind of um, inexpensive places to put your masteries where it can uh, help out. Uh, whether that be like you fight a node like encroaching stun um, that limber could help you out there or stun reflection it could help you there um, as for the um, so that's the base of this as for the uh, rest of this tree um, there's three useful um, additional ones um, the ones that are not are well I guess there's some use for them whenever you're first starting out uh, which would be the experience uh, masteries and the pittance masteries, but I don't really know how valuable they are to even unlock. Um, really long term, they don't really add up to a ton, uh, but I've never done the math, so that's just my impression. And I've always been an arena grinder, so eh. Uh, Scatter Lens is completely useless. Uh, so are all those uh, class around it that identifies the class. Um, this used to be used in war to um, uh, identify hidden defenders. Um, nowadays, it's useless. Um, the cosmic there in the middle, um, that one I think is pretty much uh, useful. Uh, reducing, yeah, reducing any effective armor up buffs. Yeah, this is basically completely useless. So. Um, now, for the big one that a lot of people like is uh, Mystic Dispersion. This one is useful, um, but you only really need three. Uh, rank three is pretty much good for every uh, Mystic attack Attacker except for Symbiote Supreme. Um, everyone else, My Mystic Dispersion three is fine. Uh, five is basically reserved for... Uh, symbiote supreme and uh, defense and if it was me and I was early on in the game what I would do is go into the uh, mystic quest when that pops up each week and just try to collect the cores from there I wouldn't really spend too much trying to unlock it so uh, it's just my opinion um, if you end up with you know a bunch of really good mystic champions though like Doom, uh, Sorcerer Supreme, Symbiote Supreme, Longshot, you know, those type early on. And say you've got a five or six star of that and your average ro roster is four stars, then yeah, it might make sense. Um, beyond Mystic Dispersion, we have here the uh, Petrify. Um, this is useful for a lot, to be honest. And in the beginning of the game, like if you're not sure what to do with some of your mastery points, going into this isn't a bad idea. Um, basically, it reduces power gain while they're stunned. So once you got full parry and full stupefy unlock, you put this on and you can reduce their um, uh, power gain and the regeneration rate. I I don't really see much to use of that, or at least I never really have. I suppose it could have some uses, but it's mostly the power gain. Basically, it takes them, you know, that many more hits to get to um, a special or to a bar. And then Pacify, um, this too is also useful. Um, it reduces their ability accuracy while stunned. Um, but again, it's not a general set um, mastery. It's more specific instances. Um Iron Man Infinity War, for example, like while he's stunned, he would be less likely to trigger an armor up buff. The um, armor ups, you know, reduce your crit chance and damage, so it can help out on that. Uh, but it's one of those where, it, you know, it's kind of up to you on whether or not you unlock it. Both of these are both really good masteries, and in early game, you know, the ability accuracy and the reduced power could be quite valuable for you depending on how you're playing it. Um, I wouldn't put them at the top, though. Um, 
but yeah, so that's a proficiency tree. For defense, um, this again is to me a pretty base setup. Um, not the nine points and greater vitality. This is uh, if I was using all 59 points, I was trying to minimize how much I was spending on like carb carbonadium cores and stony cores, and I was trying to do it cheaply as you know, towards the beginning of the game. Um, I threw in the greater vitality just because it's a uh, free mastery. Um, beyond that. Uh, what you have down here is the four points in block proficiency. Um, you know, increasing your block proficiency is incredibly important because you'll be blocking a lot against stun immunes, against um, many things. So um, I would say that this is probably every single one of my mastery builds always has um, one in vitality, one in greater, greater vitality, and then four in block proficiency. I can leave off the rest of the stuff, but this is, uh, something I have in every single one of my kits. Um, like I said, the nine in greater vitality was just, uh, I needed somewhere to put the eight points at the end whenever I was going to a, uh, cheap mastery build. So I put them in here. Um, salve is not a very useful, um, uh, mastery. It's, um, really whenever the game started and it was one and two stars and I think three stars up to like rank two or rank three, um, one health twice a second basically added up to 120 or at, uh, rank three, it was, um, um, 480 health, which as everyone knows, you know, that's, uh, a small health potion uh, it really doesn't add up to much but back then at the start of the game it, it, it did somewhat matter considering that health pools were uh 1300 1400 or, or 1500 somewhere in there i want to say and so nowadays it's completely useless so uh rank one and the only reason you put one in it is to get to this recovery um Every single champion that heals, this increases how much they heal by 15%. Um, if you're using any regeneration champ at whatsoever, you want this. If you're going beyond that and using willpower, you also want those um, that those points and recovery. And most people will eventually unlock willpower just because it's a useful mastery to have, uh, just because of the healing it can provide various fights. So. Uh, beyond that, here on the uh, defensive tree, um, it's not too useful unless you're going to a suicide build, and then uh, energy resistance is okay, but once again, not that useful. I mean, it's maybe not a bad spot like to put some points if you're fighting like a magic or some other high energy damaging champion, and it is free, so instead of like putting points into Grave of Vitality, you could just put them here. Overall, as a base kit, though, not that useful. It's more of a specific fight. Um, physical resistance does cost uh, Stony Core to um, unlock. And overall, um, what's to say, plus 2%. So I think that only increases your physical resistance by 2% on this. Um, I'd say you're just better off just throwing those points for greater vitality in general. Um, it's one of those where you know you can put them in there or you can't uh i wouldn't uh perfect block is not something i normally put a lot of points into except in my uh suicide build and that's just to get to um uh suicide uh, to uh willpower and i'll show you that in game in just a few minutes uh, stand your ground is um, another thing. It's it's more for defense, although it doesn't hurt on offense um, to you know block through a heavy. Uh, but it's you can't rely on it, so um, it, it's not that useful. Uh, it's one of those like oopsie, uh, you block through a heavy and then stand your ground triggers, and you're like, oh well, that's neat. Uh, one point is all you ever need in it, um, even if you do that. So. Uh, I said willpower is something pretty much everyone will eventually get, and it's good. Um, you know, um, no a special one lock nodes is just free healing. Uh, there's very few fights where willpower is bad, and pretty much the only one I can think of is um, against Warlock. 
um, cause you'll drain power whenever you're healing. And so, uh, beyond that, the other four to the right of willpower are very specific masteries, uh, for suicide runners, coagulate is a good mastery. Um, I run one point in it regularly. Um, beyond that though, uh, there's suture, which reduces the, um, length of the bleed, which is to me a little bit meh not really worth it uh inequity and um resonate i'm really not going to get into their uses are so specific and so end game that honestly uh you'll need someone a little bit better than i am to uh explain those masteries someone like uh, B uh contest champion or something of that nature so uh that's about all there is to that for um uh, offense then. Uh, this is what I would consider um, a base set offensive build. Um, it costs 19 stony cores and 37 units to uh, load up. Uh, it's cheap and it doesn't have any of the uh, expensive masteries like uh, the suicides which is the um, double edge up here and then the uh, liquid courage. Uh, if you're wondering what I meant by suicides, that's what I meant. Those are the suicides because they kill you, but they increase your attack significantly. Um, but here on the left, what I have here is um, nine points in greater strength. Um, that's, you know, basically a free 10% attack boost at rank nine. Uh, it's 8% eight, 8 attack. So you just think of if you were throwing on a 10% uh, attack boost, pretty similar. Uh, courage here, if you drop below 50% health, it, think of having, uh, you know, a 20% attack boost on. Both of these are free, I think, hold on. Yeah, both of those are free to unlock and they just cost gold. It, it, as a starting player, it's a no-brainer to put those in. Uh, going up here to, um, let's see, Pierce. Um, it costs two stony cores to unlock, but you're unlocking it to get to the ones past it. You only ever put one in here. Um, someone did a study or a test on this uh, for ignore an additional 5% uh, armor, and they found it doesn't even work or it doesn't really matter or something i forgot exactly what it was it was years ago uh but it was after 12.0 it um this basically went to not even mattering so one point just to unlock the after ones and here we go into uh precision and great uh precision greater precision cruelty and greater cruelty or or oh it's lesser cruelty and then cruelty lesser precision and precision my bad so that's um these up here and i go for the regular precision uh because at rank five you get uh 425 um additional uh crit which is about three percent according to this i haven't actually checked these numbers so i don't know and then uh the lesser one is 125 so i always go for the bigger one it's just units, but if you wanted to cheap out, you could go for the lesser one. But if you're doing a base setup that you're not planning on changing for a great amount of time, I would suggest go ahead and uh, you know get the less the regular precision, the regular cruelty, and forget about the lessers. And the only time I really see anyone go with the lesser ones is either you know they don't have the units to uh, buy the cores, or they're um, doing a kind of oddball suicide setup t for uh cheapness on setting up a uh easy switch and then here on the right um three and glass cannon uh this is a little bit um expensive to unlock with um you know what's three four five six seven seven total uh stony cores it's a little bit um expensive to unlock so if you wanted to wait on this uh, until you had some units built up or you got some stony cores for free perfectly understandable and um, but to me this is kind of similar to the greater strength and the courage this is basically just getting a, a set a 7.2 um base attack increase all the time basically running a, a 7.2 percent attack boost all the time you do lose some health but typically i don't really worry about that too much so, um, to me, that's, uh, this would be basically my base setup. You know, here's the attack, 
here's the defense, and then here's the um, you, or pro- proficiencies. And so, um, to me, that's the kind of cheapest and a good starting point. And there's really no downsides to this other than uh, you don't have, you know, like the higher class or the higher level stuff uh, unlocked just yet. Um, but I have, let's see, 30 stony cores would be, what, about 4,500 units. So, you know, with Arena, you can probably save that up as a new player in a month or so and be able to unlock all of this before you go on to anything complicated. Now, I talked about the suicides, uh, uh, Liquid Courage and Double Edge and then Recoil. This is pretty expensive to unlock. To me, you only really unlock this if you plan on um, using suicides a great deal. Uh, either you plan on grinding a lot of arena, and so you know it significantly reduces your grind time, or you um, are using super... Su- you rank up nothing but super suicide-friendly uh, champions. Either... Uh, Double immunes like Sentinel, Emma Frost, um, I'm trying to think of some of the better uh, double immunes. Oh well. Or uh, you use, uh, mo- most champs are half immune. So, like uh, Thing, he's great for it because if you're at SIG 200, every time you trigger protection, the Liquid Courage will heal you. Um, as long as you have willpower. Mm. If you're running suicides, you must have willpower. Um, but so there's a lot of champions that are good with suicides, um, but it's a it's a drawback to a great many as well. Um, so it's it, it, it's called suicides for a reason. Uh, you're not getting nothing for nothing. Um, so for people that aren't going to grind arena a ton, I wouldn't suggest suicides. To be honest, um, unless you're eventually planning on like trying to go for a Legends run or something, uh, and then otherwise, standard use suicides aren't really all that necessary unless you're trying to, you know, do something specific with them. All right, so, but this bottom right part, uh, this first one, despair. This one is something I almost put in my base kit that everyone should get. But for early game, it's not super necessary. Later in the game, it's almost a requirement because there are certain fights where you have to reverse healing. Um, an example of this for me is um, in the Abyss of Legends, there's a Deadpool. And um, you can either heal block it with like someone like Warlock with a ton of revives. Or you can use someone like uh, Torch or void and you'll solo the fight and um that's that's where this despair comes in handy this also helps out in like war because you can reduce their healing um and um mostly it's just about you know getting rid of healing and which you know there's plenty of fights where it just helps a ton uh saber tooth um and any debuff will count. So bleed, poison, stun, um, shock, incinerate. Um, what are the other ones? Ineptitude. Uh, you know, it, basically any type of debuff. So this one I would almost put on my base kit. But if I was going to, you know, uh, unlock one thing first after I had, you know, the base set up, it would be this. Uh, and then beyond this, there's deep wounds. And Deep Wounds is another one of those where it's, if you're using a lot of Bleeders, Warlock, Fury, Squirrel Girl, uh, Symbiote Supreme even, um, you know, there's just tons of Bleeding Champions, pretty much most of the skill class. Um, The extended duration on um, this adds up a lot. Um, The biggest uh, example of how it can change a champion would be Nick Fury. Nick Fury's, uh, whenever you do a five hit combo ending in light, then he has a, I forgot exactly what it is, but I think it's like a 1.5 second bleed or two seconds. It's something like that. 
if you have five out of five deep wounds, you've doubled the length of that um, bleed, or a little bit more than double. I have to check that in game. Uh, but um, you know, you, you know, anyone who's played with Nick Fury knows how much damage that bleed does. So it's an incredible amount of damage. Um, depending on length of bleed and how heavy the bleed is, you know, it can change, you know, exactly how valuable it is. But, you know, um, if you're just using one bleed champion, I would say, you know, it's not that important to have five out of five deep wounds. Um, but there's a lot of champions that bleed. And so this can be a uh, very important mastery. And then for the last in attack, before I go to my own current setup, is assassin <sighs> assassin whenever it uh first came out or years ago it, it was a lot i would say a lot more valuable because there were so many champions that you know didn't finish the fight so strong uh you know like void whenever you're already out of fear of the void your attack is already boosted so much that it, it's not so valuable um, Ghost, if you're using her with her power back, you're pretty much smoking through that point anyway. Uh, Corvus, the same thing. You know, if you're using your SP2, it's usually to kill. Um, this isn't that valuable of a mastery nowadays, uh, just for the attack increase. Um, but I still always run one point in it for the ability accuracy reduction. Um, it comes in handy from time to time. Uh, with like Iron Man Infinity War to stop him from getting armor ups or an evader from evading. But even then, it's not that useful. I run one point out of it, probably more out of habit than actual value. Um, so for me, I would say if you're trying to save units and not spend them on all the cores, Assassin would probably be one of the last ones I would buy um, out of the ones I've spoken of. Uh, like suicides is more valuable than Assassins to me. Um, and, you know, it. Other there is one fight where it's bad, and that's against a thing, because you can sometimes trigger it where he won't trigger a rock stack, which can become a problem. So there is that one time whenever it's negative, but... Otherwise, I mean, it's still a 20% attack boost for the last 18% health. So, uh, Labyrinth of Legends, this is useful. Abyss of Legends, this is useful. Realm of Legends, this is useful. Um, with how big the attack pools are becoming in, like, Act 7, it's useful. Um, you know, it, it's a pretty decent uh, attack boost for the last, you know, basically fifth of the fight. So, like, one point... Yes, beyond that, probably not. Um, unless you're, you know, really dedicated to having as uh, optimum a, a setup as possible for something like uh, Abyss of Legends or uh, L Labyrinth of Legends, or like if you're doing a lot of boss fighting, and then yeah, you know, it, it can be worth it. But. So that's my overall thoughts on this. Um, like I said, this is the base build that I would start with. And then you kind of got to decide by your own choices and your own roster on where you go for. Um, Despair would be the first thing I would pick up after um, this type of base setup. And then Suicides deep or Deep Wounds would depend on your roster. If you've got a lot of bleeders that aren't good with Suicides, go with Deep Wounds. But if you do go with suicides, remember you first need to unlock this, which is willpower. So uh, now we'll. Go I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> All right. So here we are into the game, and uh, oh wait, actually I wanted to check something real quick. What is Nick Fury's um, bleed? Okay, so here we are, and you can see ending a combo with a light attack has a 100% chance to inflict a, deem, a bleed dealing 1347.3 damage over one second. So that 2.5 seconds from deep wounds triples, or 350% more damage total 
then because it's taking a one second bleed to a three and a half second bleed when if you have five out of five in, in deep wounds so that goes from 1347 to 2629 4200 to 40 about 4400 damage um so that i do have to put that in on um you know i like this is where deep wounds you can see the biggest um effect on a mastery setup uh with a specific champion and you can see how this would be relatable to other champions so as for masteries um this is my current setup um here in the attack tree, uh, you can see I run the standard uh, 18 points that I was talking about earlier without, you know, um, as the same as I had in my base setup when I started, uh, just not the 8 points in greater vitality. Um, I run the Suicide Mastery setup because that's just my standard setup. Um, I do take it off for defense for war and switch back and forth, so that does cost me units, but I don't really mind um i do a lot of arena grinding if you've seen my 12.5 million uh battle chip opening you know i didn't just get those by uh using some bot or something i literally grinded all those uh battle chips myself so as uh, efficiently as i can um uh, you know grind arena it, it's worth the units for me and um you know, overall, if you grind enough of the mi milestones, switching back and forth, it adds up to be a unit positive overall. Um, I could do it without suicides, but it takes a long time, and I'd, I'd probably burn out on Arena. <laughs> so, uh, I have two in Despair. Um, I kind of use that as a base setup, just because um, there are times whenever um, I'm questing, and I don't really want to you know, get out just to go throw in despair. And one point is a little bit, eh, a little bit light. Uh, two's fine. And then for war as well, um, you know, the uh, two points kind of knock off a little bit of the healing. Uh, and then I have the one in deep wounds just to get the one in assassin. Uh, just because. Uh, defense, I, this is my base defense build. Um, you can see on the left, I have three points in recovery, four points in block proficiency, four points in um, perfect block, and then one point in stand your ground. Um, the four points of block proficiency, like I said, is part of the base setup. The four points in perfect block is a little bit just like, eh, I need somewhere to throw it, and I don't want to throw it in greater vitality. Um, and the one point in stand your ground is uh, more of a de defensive setup. When I reset my offensive tree i don't reset my defensive tree so the stand your grounds kind of a defensive thing um and then the three in the recovery is because i need the extra points to unlock willpower i run three out of three willpower um to heal my champs up you know uh, i run suicides all the time so this helps in um aq a lot and saves me a lot of revives and potions so and then i run one in coagulate just because i kind of got the extra point and I didn't know where else to put it, so I put it here, and it does help overall reduce the bleed, dam bleed damage and kind of matches it up with willpower with the pro poison, so whenever I'm not running a uh, at least half immune champ, it offsets things pretty decently. Uh, and then this is my base proficiencies. Uh, three in parry, three in stupefy, one in dexterity. It's pretty much my standard. Um, this is what I'd consider a pretty standard suicide setup. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. That's about all I can think of to say about masteries. Um, a lot of it comes down to what do you want to run, and you know, like the debate of deep wounds versus suicides is kind of up to your own roster. And for me, for I would say for the majority of the player base, what it comes down to on what you do with your masteries is what kind of player are you. If you're going to do a lot of arena, unlock suicides. It's going to save you a lot of headache, burnout, and time. Um, if Or if you're running... Even if you're running like Ghost and Corvus and all the suicide-friendly champs, if you're a more casual player that's not um, you know, going for the upper-tier alliance wars and stuff, 
still not sure how valuable suicides would be versus, you know, trying to accomplish content. So you can get, you know, um, six stars versus five stars and four stars and, you know, all of that. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, there's AQ. Uh, so yeah, I'd say that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, uh, if you got any questions or, you know, you want to ask, uh, something uh put it in the comments and um you know i'll see you know i'll uh, look at it and give you my thoughts uh y'all have a good one